Hello guys, welcome to the OS Final Competition. And today um we are deciding the results on who's gonna be in the top three of being voiced as the characters of Object Survival. Exciting. So those three of us judging, which is me, Ben, and Casey. Say hello to them. Hi. Hello. Alright. Now all of us are gonna have to decide which Alt is the best for the top three. That means one of us has to choose either. So, let's get started and, um, yeah, we can get started. So, how do you feel, Ben? Good. And how do you feel, Case? Good. Okay, so that's instead, we can get started now. Our first fan art we have is, um,. A picture of suitcase by Animation Globe. Hmm. I gotta say, I kind of like the new body. That's kind of really good, and yeah, kind of yeah. It's really good and nice title, and yeah, it's nice. So, what do you think, Ben? I like the brass locks on the sides here. Um, those are nice. Mhm. Mm Along as the handle, the handle looks good. And what do you think, Case? It's pretty good. Okay, now that um we have think this is good, let's move on to the next one. Um, this picture from Vicka Stanford. Yeah, I think that's what is. Vicky mm. Stanford. Yeah. So um, the picture of Cornock has two dimensions. One of them has cheese and sausage, and the other is object survival. It's pretty good. Although the corn dogs has only like four legs instead of two, but I guess we'll count that as that. So, um, anything to say, Ben? Um, I like it because it shows corn dogs both sides, which is with object survival and cheesy and sausage. Um, this is very well drawn, and this would have taken a lot of time. And what do you think, Case? It's pretty creative and really good. Okay, next up we have is. This picture from the from Ghost. I gotta say that's nice touching of this. It's it's really nice. I love the title and TV's um version and I think suitcase mouth is really good and I like the body too and this is really good. I, I love the background and um this is good the ghost. So um Ben, anything to say? Um I really like the style he went for with the um T V. TV looks really amazing, and this looks like really well drawn out. Um, I just like to mention the font. The font looks really good, and it's just a good combination. It's so good. Anything to say? Okay, okay. So it's Casey don't have been full time. Okay, so next up we have this picture from Yn Altaba. Uh, Altaba, yeah, Altaba. Sorry. So, um, this picture is, it's like kind of like comic, and I think Sark and Hamburg are playing games or something, like cards, I guess. Um, yeah, I guess. So, um, Ben, what do you think of this? I like the way Sock looks with, um, her eye. It makes it, her look like she's a real Sock. And Hamburger, he's pretty well drawn out. I like him. Um, and I really like the scene. They're playing... Um, a game, and that's really clever. And what do you think, Case? Um, I like it. It's funny. And it's really good. Well drawn up. Dang it, and you lose a ton. It's good. It's really clever. Okay, next we have, um, by Microphone Fango, um, a picture of Suitcase. It's good. It's really nice. I can tell about the, um, Suitcase body and the arms and legs and stuff. So what do you think of this, Ben? Well, it's really, it's hand-drawn, or it's drawn on the computer, and it it's very nice. It wasn't just copied and pasted. She looks like she did, uh, really, it, she took her time, and that's good. What do you think, Case? Um, I like it because it, it looks really, like, creative with the sketching, and I really like the eyebrows. It's cool. I have to agree with Case. All right. Next up, we have is um by Timmy Total a Roblox name. 
Okay. And yeah, why? Okay, so um so this um I see Sock and him go like like I don't what is Sock's doing? Colored Wong. So um, I can see the colored Wong patrol. And him go it looks like he's blushing over Sock. And for Pac-Man, I think he's eating muffin. Swiss is crazy or anything. Crazy, yeah, crazy. So what do you want to say, Ben? Well, I really like um, that this has just a really fun scene. We have um, Pac-Man and Muffin. That's hilarious, by the way. Um, and even though he colored Sock wrong, that's okay because it just kind of adds a little layer of character to it. And um, I kind of like the faces. The faces on, like, no one can help you. That, that face is good, and colored wrong, the face right next to it is kind of funny. And what about you, Case? Um, it's really funny, and I like, I like the, um, how, how Pac-Man's eating muffin. It's pretty funny, in my opinion. So, yeah. And, and it doesn't, it doesn't matter about what they think about, like, they made it wrong. It's, it's just perfectly good. It's fine. All right, so let's move on to the next one. Next we have from Object Show Creator 9000. Yeah, 9000. Um, okay, so um, this is... I really like the new bodies for um, Wii U, Tree, and Flashlight. It, they, were, they were pretty good. And um, I'm sure they, he made a mistake about the Final 7, but it's fine. Be it's fine. You still get a, did a great job on that. So what do you say, Ben? Well, personally, I like the way it's drawn out because this looks like it took a lot of effort and a lot of time. Um, I think the favorite character out of all of these is the one Hamburger, Hamburger because it looks like um, he took a lot of time layering that, and that looks really good. And what about you, Case? Um, I think it's good. Alright, um, next is, um, by Animation Blaze. We have a picture of Suitcase with weird big arms, and looks like he's drawn out on the computer. I think he did. But it looks good in my opinions. It was nice and good. So, what do you think, Ben? Well, the fact that this thing is drawn out on a computer just kind of shows that he is good at this and um, I liked how he wrote object survival out instead of just um, typing it that look makes it look even better and I like what suitcase is doing he's kind of like yeah They're big arms so what do you say case I like it I like um, the colors the colors why so um next up we have is unknown because I don't see no one's name on it. I, I can't tell what it is, but I'm pretty sure it's a picture of Corn Dog. Don't you think, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I. It's a nice picture, by the way. Um, I I like how he got the um, legs right, and that looks good in the nose. Just remember, if you don't put your name on it, we can't credit you. Well, actually, you can credit him. If you if one of you made this picture, try X in the comment below. Okay. So next up, we have. From Man, uh, uh, Man, uh, Gosh Valley 2. Alright, so we have a picture of Pac Man and the ghost. Oh, it's just like a Pac Man game, like Pac Man's an object, so that's the ghost. It's really fantastic, and I have to agree, Pac Man's kind of like my favorite arcade game, and it looks really good and nice and touch shit on it. So, what do you think of this, Ben? I think it's clever how he can tie the game Pac Man into Pac Man as in. Um, object survival, and it's really well drawn. drawn. And what do you think, Case? I like I like how it says versus the ghost, like they're fighting, and I really like I really mm -hmm. like the arms. They 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 do have enemies. I also like the eyes. The eyes look really good. Like on the ghost, you can see his eyes like really well drawn. It does have nice touching into it. <laughs> yeah. Bless you. Anyways, let's move on. From Fon I'm really bad at names. Fernando, Fernando Oquendo. Oquendo. This picture is really good. It's nice. 
I love the tile and the Kyoto's. It's it's really good. It's nice. And it's touching on the bodies and it's really good in my opinions. So what you guys say about this? Um, I really like how he draw this drew this out. Like it has a lot of character, like um, corn dog on vacuum. That's pretty funny. And um, hamburger looking all shocked, and so is Wii U in the corner there. Um, the words, like the spelling at the top, that looks really good, and I like it. I really like how um, they did tree, because it looks it looks a lot like Tree and Object Survival. So you did it good. does. You did good with tree, and you did really good with vacuum. Yeah. Yeah, and they made the final eight contestants. All right. Next up, we have is um by Paintbrush, aka T T Tiana. Tiana. Sorry. Yeah. This is really nice and fantastic. I can say I I'm really impri impressed about the like the shade and the um background was really good and the flash was really nice and good. And I love how the bulb is really it's really good detail on it. So what do you guys think? Um, I really like the shading. And um, this was obviously not um, like pasted in. Um, she obviously drew that out, and that looks really nice. And um, it just has a lot of interesting details. I really like it because I really like the body shape and how they did like the bulb and how it has those different details and different shading. I think that it's really good. And good job, Tiana. Yeah, you did a good job. So next up we have is the girl who loves Phoebe. Okay, so we have a picture of corn dog, and um, nice um the corn dog body and small legs and a big nose. <laughs> and I gotta say, corn dog is kind of like my favorite character in Object Survival. How about you, Ben? Um, I really like the aspect she did, like. The big nose and the little legs and the mustard or mustard on the middle, like that's pretty much what corn dog is in a grand scheme of things. Um, it looks really nice. You case? I really like how she put hearts around corn dog, and I also like how it looks like corn dog's walking, and that's it's really good. And the mouth. Yeah, you did a nice job. So okay, so next up we have is the great pad. Plus fan. Okay, so we have like the fun way contestants with the um names on them, like their personalities. I can't tell what they say, but uh, wait, actually I can't tell what they say. So first, Konog with the fan favorite and muffins as the cute one, and Wii U with the bland. Hmm. We use his bland. So him go and sock with the love boards, and um. For Flashlight, he's almost a fan favorite, I have to agree. And Tree and Vacuum, and they're the limpless blenders. Yeah. So, we, Tree and Vacuum are like least blends. So, um, anything you guys to say? Um, I really like how he added personalities to them and really ca categorized them, and that looks good. And I really like how it's drawn. Looks amazing. You case? Um, I really like how he labeled it, and it's really funny. And I like the um, how when it says a bland, we use going hey. It's funny. Yeah. All right. So great job. So next up we have is by Jacob Wish now, and they have a lot of post characters like from like this is really nice. I I, I gotta say that pencil with like. What, like the arm with pencil, it's really nice. It's like you have details on it. It's really creative. And you have tomato, milk, tree, Wii U, flashlight, Pac Man, sock, volcano, brick, and corn dog, which is sleeping. It's really nice. Good details on it. Anything to say, Ben? Um, again, I like the hand. Um, the hand with the pencil, that looks great. Like he's almost drawing it. I um, really like that, Jacob. And. Um, yeah. Are you okay? I think it's really creative, and it's, like, really funny because of how they 
with the hands, and it's like it's drawing the characters. It's really clever. Yeah, way to go, Jacob. So next up we have is by Spongy Animation. And I gotta say, um, I don't know, if, oh yeah, it's it's cheesy. Um, with suitcase and corn dog on it, and yep, corn dog is my favorite. And um, this is nice detail on the computer, and I like how you put cheesy on it, even though he wasn't on Object Survival. I, but it's still great, it's nice, it's nice looking. And I love the new suitcase body, it's fantastic. So anything to say, Ben? Um, I really like how he put cheesy on there, and um, the way this is designed is really good. Like, it's, th this looks like it took a little while, and it looks great. Um, good job, Spongy Animation. You did awesome. Mm-hmm. Why don't you get a case? I think it's really cool that they put Cheesy um, by a suitcase. And then I like Corn Dog in the corner. It looks really good, and I'm, I'm really impressed with this one. I also like how he used the actual body from the show. Like, that just kind of makes it even Yeah, that makes special. sense. So... About Cheesy's face, it kind of looks like Walkie's face. And that looks cool. Yeah, it is cool. It's really funny as well. Yeah, one. I love Walkie. So next up we have is from XC. Yeah, XC. That's a nice lot of characters of Object Survival. It's really nice details and and it's a corn dog with no tail, but it's yes, fine. Yes, he, he has a tail right there. Oh, he doesn't have a stick on it. No, never mind. Yes, that's that. a stick. Yeah. That, that's a stick right there. Yeah. Yeah, it looks good. And nice of Pac-Man with a kill-it. It looks like a kill-it. Yeah. Yeah, it does. And I found, like, pizza and vacuum, like, sinking or something. And vacuum with the lo green lines. And Brick looks like he's angry, just like Volcano. And also Muffin with the sevens on it. It's pretty funny. Yeah, you did a good job. And what about you, Ben? Um, I really like how suitcase up in the corner there is kind of like flying on over the place. Um, and I also like when he put Object Survival, when he wrote it out, he had the suitcase as an eye. Um, I don't know how many people noticed that, but it looks really good. And I like the humorous aspect of it, like um, pizza drowning and um, vacuum with the little tentacle around his thing and Pac-Man choking on a carrot. That's really funny. And I think you did a great job with that. What about you, Case? I really like... I really like how Muffin's getting chased by the seven. It has, like, an angry face on it. <laughs> and I really like Corndog. How he's just, like, running through the whole thing. Because he's, like, one of the main characters. And I think it's really good, and I really enjoy it. And I also like how Hamburger and Sock are just, like, sitting together. Cute. Um, also, it's... There's a lot of layering to this, and there's a lot of things going on, and a lot of moving parts, so it looks great in that aspect of it. Yeah. Although I can't tell what two legs are in beneath Corndog. Kind of... It looks like... like it looks it's, like it's another character back there, probably. I think it's Volcano, because I don't see Volcano around. But it's still good. It's nice. It's awesome. Good so job. next up we have is J.A. Lilux. Sorry. Lilux. That comic vein is pretty <laughs> funny. And the one with Sock and Hamburger on it, it's pretty good. And the PS4, it's it's really funny. Um, ben, can you voice this Hamburger for, real quick? And I'll voice Sock. Uh, oh wait. Uh, Hamburger, I think he's a... Uh, are you a PS4 or a tank? Tank, tank. <laughs> okay, that was pretty funny. I, I had to... This is a really nice comic. So what do you think, you guys? Um, I really like the way it looks, like uh, the um, background and stuff looks really good, not to mention the comic's pretty funny. I think it's really funny, and I like how he put the PS4 on there with the, well, the dank tank. <laughs> yeah. And, and I like how he used the actual bodies, and it's not just like, yeah, I, yeah, yeah that's looks it. good. Basically. Adds character mm -hmm. to it. All right, way to go, um, J A L L. Okay, forget Lee about looks. that. Yeah. Next we have is from the Dark Green Ninja. Suitcase is awesome. <laughs> yep, I have to agree. Suitcase is awesome. He is the host, and there's no E on it, but it's fine. It, you did good job with underline blue pen or something. So anything to say? 
Um, it's really good. It's like really sketched out well, and um, you gave suitcase kind of a three dimensional look, and that looks really great. By the way, you did a great job at that, and I love the poses he's in with his hand raised like he's jumping, and um, I really like the way you wrote the letters. That looks really great. Dark green ninja. Why mom you case? Um. I really like how it's sketched out. It looks really creative, and it's, like, really good. So, good job. Okay, we only have, like, um, three more left. So, um, next we have is by Howard Richard. And the picture of the background is good, with trees and mountains on it. It's really nice, and they're all hanging out like good friends for the final eight. Like, you see Flashlight with the Wii U gamepad on it or something. And Konox jumping for Avencho and Muffin Tree and Vacuum are like hanging out. And for Sokka and Hamburger, um, a kind of like awkward moment though. So, anything to say? I really like it. Like, this is really well drawn. Um, I really like how the background is. And um, the characters Muffin, Tree, Vacuum, and um, Flashlight look really, really good. Like, those look a lot like the characters and I think you did a great job on Sock as well. I really like the background as Cooper said it's really good and I like how Hamburg Hamburger and Sock are kind of like well kind of kind of cool. Yeah shipping. Good job with that. Anyways um next up we have is um by Nikki Wassel. Well, yeah. It sounds like Corndog and Pac-Man are getting pretty serious about this conversation. I don't know what it says, but, um, they're, yeah. They're really well drawn. I love how you did the shadow on Pac-Man's mouth. It's really nice. And so does Corndog with the, like, it's, it's, it was nice detail, but I don't know what it says on the, on the paper with the words, but you still get a good job. Yeah, I think you did a great job with this. Um, I really like the way the characters are and the facial expressions. You got those down perfectly. Um, along with Corndog, Corndog looks great. Um, I think the only problem with this is the words, but other than that, it's amazing. Good job. And for you, Case? It's really good, and I love the drawings, and I especially love Pac-Man, how he's just like... He's just in his, like, are you serious pose, and it's really good. Good job. It's a classic pose. Yeah, are you shy, Ashba? So anyways, last up we have is Owen the Idiot, full thousand. Hundred thousand. Four thousand. Four thousand. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. This is really nice. I can see like those season one contestants and season two contestants. It's really nice and yeah, there is gonna be a season two after this season one. And I love how they made Pac Man's eyes and Boomerang's color is kind of different with white, but it's still fine. And um Hamago has like a double meat on it. And I think I see how um guitar has no arms, but it's still fine. Okay, and also, I see how Desk over there, he's using a computer, and it's really nice. I love how he did with the personalities and detail of characters on it. You did a good job on that. So what do you think, Ben? I love it. It looks great. I mean, there's so many details and so many intricate designs. Um, I love Suitcase. Suitcase looks great leaning against that wall. Like, that's a really good drawing of Suitcase. I just love the detail that you put into this. Like, this is great. Um, another characters that I want to point out that I really like the look of are um, Guitar. Um, I like the look of Corndog. Um, I also like Harmonica because that's really hard to do with the shadowing and all that. And I also like um, um, Pineapple. And you really put them in the characters that, like, their characteristics. And that looks really good. I'm on you, Case. I think this one is really good because I really like the drawing. Like, this was very well drawn. And I really like how... His name is Dr. Pepper. How Dr. Pepper is just leaning. And I like how Mug's just, like, kind of crazy. <laughs> Sick looking. But, like, yeah, it's really good. And I think you did very well. The one thing I love about, um... The love thing I love, I want to point out, is the title and also the balls. Like, there's some reflection on that ball. It's really good. It's nice. And I love how you did the faces. 
Okay, so now that we've went through all the pictures, we're going to take a little break, and we're going to decide um, which ones we want in the final three. So, um, yep. yeah. Whichever paintings, whichever alt is the best, um, we are going to choose the top three and get the voice. And also, also, if you didn't put any subject in, like, you e Gmail or something, it's fine. Everyone's a winner. So... Let's take a short break for a second, see what we choose. Okay guys, after a few calculations on seeing the pictures, I think we're about to see which three top three winners will get to be. And remember, each of us has to choose. So Casey choose first one picture, and Ben choose the other picture, and I choose the last picture. So we, we can make it fail in the top three winners. Remember, everyone's a winner. Or maybe not, or, or, whatever it is. Okay, so first we have Casey, and um, we will, and um, Casey's gonna decide. So Case, which fan art do you choose? I choose... Flashlight by Paintbrush, a.k.a. Tiana. I think it's really cute, and it's really good. And I really like how she shaped the, like, bulb and the body, and I like the different shades of purple, and it's not just, like, solid, and you can see it. And it's kind of, like, ombre, and it's really good, so congratulations, Tiana. Congratulations, Paintbrush, a.k.a. Tiana. And you are one of the top threes. Okay, so next we have Ben. So, Ben, what do you choose? I chose Object Survival by Owen the Idiot 4000. I chose this one because this one just really stood out to me. I really loved all the characters and all the little designs he did. He hand-drawn this, so this looks amazing. I just love all the personalities he put into it and everything he did. Like, these are really well detailed and it would have taken a long time to do this. So, congratulations, Owen the Idiot. And now, Owen the Aaron is one of the second top threes. And now, for the last winner of the fan art contest, Dwemel, please. And the winner of the, and the other winner of the top three for the final is with Paintbrush, a.k.a. Tiana, and Owen the Idiot for 100 is... The last top three winners is The Goat by Ghost. Sorry. <laughs> Ghost, you are the last top three winners. I really love how you did the background with TV and suitcase on it. You did, you did amazing, and I love how you did with TV with, like, Kind of looks like he's robotic. Actually, he is robotic, and I love how he did the title. And Suke's body, he did good details, and I love how he shaded a little. And he did amazing. So, yeah, I'm really admired for this. Congratulations to all the three winners and to everyone else who sent in their fan art. It all looks great, and we're happy to have it. Yep, congratulations, Ghost, P Paintbrush, a.k.a. Tiana, and Owen the Idiot at 4,000. And if you didn't get picked, don't get mad because we only could choose three and we just chose the ones that stood out to us most. The others who didn't made it, you still did a great job and congratulations on finishing the fan arts t competition for the OS. Remember, Hats it, doesn't, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter which art is the best. You, whatever arts you made, you guys did fantastic, and congratulations for all of you who actually done the fan art. Now, as for the reward for the top threes, here's how I'm going to choose. You can choose one of these contestants to be voiced of on Object Survival. You can only choose one, so um, choose one in the comments below. And um, yeah, I guess that's it. So, everyone wants to say before we go? Um, yeah. You guys all did great, and we're so happy to um, see your art. You all did fantastic, and watch out for the next op op episode of Object Survival. Good job to everyone who entered, and yeah, 
thank you for participating, and we hope you all have a good day. Yep. Okay. So, um, yeah. All of us say bye to all to all of them, the fanouts. So, yeah. Bye. bye. Adios.